so I'm a little disheveled right now, but I want to introduce everyone to Bella. She's our French loaf. If you notice, she's a very big bunny. Shh, it's okay, Bella, baby. She is a very beautiful bunny. And uh, we have uh, taken her in. And she's now part of our little magical family. Her uh, full name, so Deem Soren, is Bellatrix. But Bella Bella for short. Or Bella Boo. She is still getting used to everything. The cat so far seems like, holy crap, the rabbit's bigger than me. Cosmosis may be afraid that she'll eat him. And as you can see, she is a very big bunny. <laughs> and yes, this is a normal thing for a French loaf. They do have a big little poof there. A big floppy ears. She's my little black and white baby. So far, she's a cuddler, a sweetheart, when you get her calmed down. And uh, she enjoys the normal stuff that most rabbits do, including uh, carrots and lettuce. And so far, she enjoys hopping around the house and giving little love bites. As you can see, familiars come in very big sizes, including dogs. Unfortunately, her um, old owner had to give her up, because, and she's about two years old on the first Sunday of April, two years ago, obviously, so Easter or Star of what I'm used to the first Sunday of April being, so she is a big girl, and uh, she is going to be two, so she's a little bit younger than Cosmosis but not by much. So she is uh, our newest one and we'll soon be taking to the vet to get her nails trimmed. She squeaks when she wants attention or makes sad noises. She's very vocal. She thumps her foot when she's out of something and she wants something. And uh, when she wants picked up an attention, she will squeak until we do that. Soren had to uh, pet her this morning to calm her down from her squeaking of, I want out of my cage, play with me, at 3 a.m. while we were getting ready for work. My hair's a little disheveled because I kind of had to catch her because she was running around the house. She uh, has yet to chew on anything, so she's a good girl. She loves her salt lick. She uh, seems to be getting along with Persephone, even though Persephone is still unsure. But uh, so far, no hissing, no smacking, no, no fights. Um, we'll slowly be introducing her to Cosmosis. I uh, put her near the hutch with him for a few minutes, and Cosmosis just gave that deadpan look of "that is a huge bunny compared to me." Look at the new wiggly. <laughs> but uh, it's always fun to add to the family, and I wanted to introduce everybody to Bella. Because I said I would, and I did kind of post pictures of her on uh, oh, Facebook and on, uh, oh, what's up? Oh, yeah, Twitter. And before you ask, yes, her pellets are bigger than the little bunnies. And she won't be as much maintenance as him, but she's enough maintenance. And it shall be fun uh, doing things with her and getting harnesses. So expect videos of her hopping around in a harness outside. Though she will, is about, I want to say she's about 10, 15 pounds as is. And 15 to 20 pounds is about her weight limit. So, she's a big bunny. You can tell by her paws that they're big. And just by her going into my face. But, uh. A lot of people ask, well, what do you know about rabbits? I know way too much about rabbits. And I'm like, well, what do you use them in magic for? They're good luck. They're charming. They're, oh, they represent a lot of things, including new life, spring, joy, happiness, prosperity. They're good little creatures to have around. 
and they're also some of the best cuddle buddies ever. So, if you get a rabbit for Easter or Ostara, remember the key things with them. They're animals. They're not toys. Um, handle them as much as you can. Be careful and gentle with them. Some of them will not make noises, like Cosmosis. I mean, I can barely get him to ever squeak. Um, that'd be sore. Uh, they love rabbit pellets. They love carrots. Sometimes. They love fruits. Read up on what they can and cannot eat. Um, iceberg lettuce is nothing but empty calories. And water. So, get them stuff like romaine and spinach and stuff like that. They love that. Um, a, a cage or a, a small cage normally is good for them for a while and then go to a bigger one. Bella has quite a big one where Cosmosis has his hutch right now. If you get an older bunny and then you get a baby bunny, take time introducing them to each other by putting them in animal carriers where they can investigate each other by sniffing them each other through the gate. Oh, baby. Where they can investigate each other, which what we'll be doing with Bella and Cosmosis. Um, because he has his carrier and we can put her in uh, Persephone's because she's big enough for that. Um, and with the fact that they're both adult bunnies, it'll take a while. If you get two that are opposite genders, make sure you get one of them fixed. Because unless you want a bunch of little baby bunnies within a month, because her gestation period of babies is less than a month and then she pops them out. Yeah. Bunnies breed fast. So it'd be a good idea to have one of them fixed. Which, unfortunately for Cosmosis, because he's male and it's easier to neuter than it is to spay a bunny. <laughs> Feel sorry for him. But with that, they still need the slow induction to each other. Some rabbits will like taking baths, some will not. Um, they like snackies, they love... Uh-huh. <laughs> She's cheatering. Um, they like wood chips over the uh, um, the uh, cotton stuff. Because most are razor. You can either get them from breeders or you can get them from uh, pet stores, which is what we got Cosmosis from and what she was from. If you notice their toes or the claws are going sideways, it's because they're walking on hard surfaces. It's perfectly normal. They're fine. It's nothing bad. It's nothing bad for their health. Just remember to keep them trimmed because these uh, little uh, claws of theirs can do damage. I mean, my hand kind of was already a little scratched up from her earlier yesterday when she was a little spooked. But they are some of the best for the pets to get. They're great for apartments because they're considered a cage animal. So they fall under, you do not need a pet rent for them. But it is an active thing. You do have to brush them. You do have to bathe them on occasion. You do have to clean out their cage or their hutch at least uh, every two, three days, if not at least twice a week. Because they do poop. Normally they don't smell, but if you have cedar or pine chips in there, which is one of the best things for them, you will get the smell of wet wood. So clean it often or do a mix of the wood and the uh, cotton stuff to absorb it, and that helps too. It cuts down on the smell. They're not... <laughs> they're not play toys. They're fragile creatures. They're beautiful creatures. They're amazing to have. And some people are like, yeah, they taste great in soup. Yeah, but these are pets, not dinner. And they're not just another little item for an Easter basket, like Soren said. 
or for an Osara gift. They're a living creature that needs love, support, and cuddles just like a cat or a dog. So think before you buy a rabbit for your kids. Think about the obligation you're getting into because it's like anything else. It's like having a puppy except for less jumping all over you. Um, they are good creatures, kind and cuddly. Not all of them chew on cables, but you have to be careful. So, and with that, because Bella is sniffing around for food, I'm going to be putting her back in her cage. And I want everybody to have a happy and fun Monday. And uh, enjoy yourself, love each other, and uh, blessed be. Bye-bye, Bella.